Scholarly research studies are more complex than the essays, articles, and textbooks you are used to reading. These reading strategies can help you break down a scholarly article so it is a bit easier to understand. The general format for most published research studies will be similar. Typically, there is an abstract at the beginning of the article that summarizes the study, including a brief statement about their results or conclusions. The article starts with an introduction that explains why the researchers undertook the study. It may also include a literature review that summarizes the previous research that has been done on the topic. The literature review may be a separate section or included as part of the introduction. The research questions or hypothesis may be separated into their own section as they are here or they may be included as part of the introduction. The next section will describe the methods used in the study. The findings or results will usually include statistical analysis. Depending on the subject, this section may be highly scientific or mathematical. The discussion will be the author's description in more plain English of how they interpreted the results. This will include an explanation of whether their hypothesis was supported or the answers to their research questions. Some articles may have a separate conclusion that identifies future research that still needs to be done on the topic, or this information may be included as part of the discussion or conclusion section. Finally, there will be a list of references that identifies any article discussed in the literature review and any other sources the authors consulted while conducting their research. The entire article can be quite lengthy, so you might not want to read it from beginning to end the first time around. You can use the article's organization to guide your reading and break it down into manageable chunks. Start with the abstract because it will give you a general idea of the research question and the results. Look for the research questions or hypothesis toward the beginning of the article and make sure you understand exactly what the researchers were hoping to learn. Then, jump to the discussion section so you can immediately find out what conclusions the authors reached after conducting the study. If there is a separate conclusion, read that too. Now go back to the introduction to learn about the previous research that had already been done. The literature review may lead you to other studies that you'll want to read later. Any studies mentioned in the introduction or literature review will have full citations on the references list. Next, skim the methods to learn how the participants were selected if human subjects were studied and what procedures were used to conduct the research. You can just skim it to get a general idea. The findings or results will be the most statistical part of the article, including charts and graphs when necessary to illustrate what the researchers discovered. This section may be highly technical, but try to understand the information that is being conveyed through the charts and graphs. Finally, reread the discussion. Now that you understand the entire study, a second reading of the discussion or conclusions will help you fully understand what the researchers learned. The references can be used to find additional sources on the same topic. Reading a scholarly article in this way can make it easier to understand a very complex piece of writing.